Welcome to HinsonERP.com. This is Hassan Amir and we will talk about introduction to Oracle Financials. Objectives of the tutorial are to give you an overview on ERP, Oracle Applications and Oracle Financials. We will talk about Oracle Financials modules and how modules talk to each other. We will also talk about Oracle Corporation. Let's start with ERP. ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning. Um, actually, ERP is a special category of software that manages your whole enterprise. A company typically consists of departments, and each department needs some kind of a software to manage its uh, information. So, ERP would consist of different modules. Each department would be using one or two modules of the ERP software to manage its uh, end to end solution. Um, so as a, as a whole, the whole company would be using the ERP, but each department would be using part of the ERP. So the small circle uh, in this diagram are presenting part of ERP that each department is using and bigger uh, ERP uh, uh, at the top left corner, the circle is presenting that whole company is using the ERP software. So just keep that in mind, the ERP is not one software, it has parts. Uh, or modules. Each module is a standalone software which is used by different departments. Okay. So, who are leading ERP vendors out there? Oracle and SAP are the largest uh, uh, player, uh, and uh, Oracle software is called Oracle eBusiness Suite. It used to be known as Oracle Applications. SAP software is called My SAP ERP. It used to be known as SAP R3. Uh, PeopleSoft and JD Edwards are all the big players in the ERP market, but Oracle purchased JD, uh, Oracle purchased uh, PeopleSoft, so now PeopleSoft is also managed by Oracle Corporation. PeopleSoft has already acquired JD, Soft, uh, JD Edwards before Oracle Corporation has purchased PeopleSoft, therefore Oracle Corporation is now maintaining all these three uh, ERP, Oracle Business Suite, PeopleSoft and JD Edwards. Logan is also a big player in the ERP market. Microsoft also makes uh, an ERP software which is not really an ERP because not very really scalable but it is used by small to medium sized companies it's called Microsoft Dynamics it used to be known as Microsoft Business Solutions. Let's talk about Oracle eBusiness Suite or Oracle Applications. Okay so we can divide Oracle eBusiness Suite into further groups Oracle Financials, Oracle Manufacturing, Human Resources, etc. So Oracle Financial is a group within eBusiness Suite. So eBusiness Suite is the name of a larger, uh, a larger uh, a group of groups. Okay, so I'm going to tell you in a in a bit why I'm calling Oracle Financial a group. The reason is that Oracle Financial is nothing but a simply uh, a name of five modules that are part of Oracle. Uh, financial. So these five modules are actually standalone applications and together they are called Oracle Financial. Similarly, there are other standalone applications as well and they have been uh, put in various groups uh, based on uh, the area they cater to. For example, Oracle Manufacturing is nothing but simply a group of uh, individual standalone applications. So all these groups together are called Oracle business suite so suite is a is the proper word uh, uh, used here so let's talk about oracle financials okay so oracle financials oracle financials they said consists of five uh, modules so module and application are synonym uh, so you can say oracle financial consist of uh, five applications now uh, let's talk about these five applications so a company uh, a typical company would have vendors, would have customers, and it would deal with banks. And it would be a requirement for the company to manage all these external entities. Okay, so there is a module uh, in Oracle Lab Financials uh, that cater to each of uh, the needs of, uh, of that company. Okay, so for example, to manage customers, uh, it's a module called Accounts Receivable. Is, a, uh, is used now uh, known as Oracle Receivable. Similarly, to manage vendors, 
a module called accounts payable or oracle payables that are used um, and cash management or oracle cash management is used to manage your banks okay so uh, there is another module called fixed assets or oracle assets uh, that is used to manage assets of the company assets could be anything like laptop computers building etc and finally general ledger module the most important module is used to manage the account of the company okay now what is accounting i've prepared a separate tutorial for that uh, but for now just understand account is simply a, a measurement of uh, quantitative measurement of the business events that are taking place so accounting would tell you how much profit you have made how much expenses you have incurred how much assets and liabilities uh, you incurred in the last month or last last year and things like that so um, so all the information flows from different modules all the accounting information flows to the general ledger module which is the accounting and all the reports financial reports are run out of general ledger module that tells anybody uh, about the health of the company okay so it's a recap uh, we have account stable module uh, which is now known as our payables it's used uh, by the company to manage the vendors so this module will will tell the company what you have purchased from which vendor have you paid on time or what method you used for payments and things like that uh, similarly account receivable module now known as oracle receivable helps you manage your customers so this module will tell you what what from you have has this person paid or has that organization paid uh, you uh, what was the method payment method and what is credit rating and things like that um, like cash management module known as Oracle Cash Management uh, helps you reconcile your bank statement at the month end. It would tell you uh, like the bank has made an error or not, or have your, your book in sync with the bank, and how many bank accounts you have, and what's the status of the bank accounts, etc., etc. And uh, so Oracle assets uh, or fixed asset used to known as the module of Oracle Financial that you manage your assets so this module will help you answer questions like which asset is located at what location which employees using the asset what has been the appreciation expense of the asset so it's a technical term i will help you understand that in my assets tutorial so the depreciation is an expense that each asset incurs um, etc etc and uh, finally uh, like it's a recap the ledger module helps you uh, manage your accounting um, so accounting is uh, nothing the uh, quantitative measurement of the business event that are taking place uh, everything at, at the end of the day gets translated into ad, uh, debits and credits and uh, GL account so all these three things together uh, in, in in the reports uh, helps you make the decision business decisions and uh, it tells you the health, health of the company okay so quickly i'll talk about modules interfaces um, so like modules talk to each other that's the only point i'm trying to uh, make here uh, so the information flows from one module to another so i just to give you an example all account information flows from all modules in general ledger uh, invoices etc flows from accounts payable into fixed assets assets are automatically created so the, here the point is not uh, explain you what kind of information flows so i just want to tell you that the modules talk to each other um, although they are standalone software but the strength comes when talk to each other so that's why uh, companies implement whole erp uh, in each of the department okay so uh, this difference between uh, flowing of information from one module to another as you saw in the last slide here i'm trying to explain to you that data is also shared among modules so in order to uh, prevent uh, the uh, duplication for example if you have created a bank in cash manage you don't have to create another bank in account payable and receivable the same information be shared it will be only stored at one place so redundancy uh, is uh, 